some fantastic new features have just been released to the Excel Insider channel. I'm going to do a brief intro to some of these. I've only just had a look at them. Let's go. Let's get the admin bit out of the way. To have these functions right now, as of today, the 18th of March, you need to be number one on the insider version of Excel, and number two, be in the lucky 50 to 60% of people where they've turned that functionality on. It's called flighting. So the Microsoft team, basically the Excel team, test whether these new features break things by releasing it gradually. So even though you're on insiders, you're not guaranteed to have these. This time, I'm in the lucky half or 60% or 70%, and I've got it, so I can do a quick demo. Um, check out the Excel community for the whole blog about this, and I'll put links in the post below in the notes. Check those out, because this these things change, right? These things change all the time. So just beware, read the notes, see if I've done an updated video, but here's my first look, okay, first take. There's some great new text features. Okay, you can get the text before a delimiter, like a comma, or the text after. Or you can even split text apart dynamically. Now, bear in mind, Power Query might be a better option if you're doing this, pulling data in, refreshing, connecting to some source file. You know, don't be copy pasting stuff in and then using these functions. Use Power Query for that. But this stuff could be good. For example, okay, if you ever wanted to get the sheet name, it was really convoluted. So if I go equals, equals cell, okay, file name, and then you just reference any old cell, like, I don't know, A1, for example, okay, doesn't really matter. This is the long list, and right at the end, okay, right at the end, after the closing square bracket was the word text, which is the name of this sheet. So if I want to get that, there used to be a horrible long formula to do that. But check this out. I can go equals, text after, click on this bit of text, comma, put the square bracket in. Um, it's the closing square bracket. And press enter. And there we go, that's the name of the sheet. You know, and you can actually wrap this, so I could just wrap this whole cell in that formula. So let me just grab that little formula there. I'll put it in here instead of C6. So that's the formula now for getting a sheet name. Beautiful, okay. Also, if I put this back, text split, so equals text split. I could split this apart, okay. And it gives you options of column delimiters to split stuff into columns, or you can even split to rows which are one of the advanced options in Power Query, split to rows. Uh, let's see that in action. So I will put nothing in the com column delimiter. The row delimiter, I'll put a single slash, okay? And then there's ignore empty and there's some other options. I'm not gonna go into all the options today. There's plenty of you know content on there. I'm just giving you a quick taste of this stuff, okay? Check it out. So for every slash, it's just broken it down. Brilliant. Okay, right, so the, there's those three text functions. Let me show you, and there's lots of options in there, so check them out, okay, check them out. I'll put links to the uh, main article that Joe McDade pulled together. Let's look at some of these new array functions as well. I'm gonna show you a pretty convoluted example just to introduce a whole bunch of these, but let's just show you the basics. So let's say I wanna stack together person one, person two table and person three. Well, now there's a fantastic function called vStack. So vStack for vertical stacking. And you can just go and click on, you know, table person one, person two, comma, table person three, etc. enter. Look at that, brilliant. Okay, all sorts of options there. Um, and it's dynamic, so if I added something else in here, you know, or took something off, let me take away the other, okay? See how other is now not here anymore? It goes banana and then straight into lemons for the four. Okay, great. So you can do really simple stuff like that, but 
but I want you to take it a step further and also to help demo some of these functions. Um, I've gone for a bit of a, a crazy example. So here's the idea. I want to be able to create this dynamic list that somebody could just say, I just want to also see TBL person three enter and it automatically gets tagged in, okay? And I'm using a few steps to do this. And then if I added on take person four, TBL person four, okay, doesn't work. Why not? Because this table isn't called person four. Enter. There we go. Okay, brilliant. So let's see this in action. Let me take some of these out just to keep it nice and simple. Right, so how did I do this? Well, here we go. Firstly, what I wanted to do was create a list of all the items as a single row so that I could put that in a table, okay? So there's a function called equals to row. That's one of the new functions. And you can take a whole table or an array and you can turn it into a row. Awesome. But you can't put that in a table. If I try and put that in a table, you get a spill error. All right. Now I want to put it in a table so that somebody can just add in person three, person four, and it'll just auto fill. Okay. So what can you do? Well, actually, this piece of tech, or this sort of, um, all these items, I can join them up. So I wrap them in a text join, which isn't a new function. It's been around for a while, but it can be pretty handy. Okay, put a bracket on the end. So now that's what's in this little formula. However, I didn't want to hard code in table person one. So I've used the indirect function. Okay, so indirect, and then you reference that word table person one. Okay, and then I could copy this formula down. So this is what this is, okay? Text join to row indirect. You could write it like that. Okay, so that's my starting point. I've got the items joined together. I'm not saying this is the best way to do this. Okay, bear that in mind. This is really just about showing you some of these new functions in a convoluted way that I've had you know, three or four hours to have a think about. Right, so what do we do then? Well, I want to essentially um, join these items into one big sort of list, combined list. So if I try and do this equals um, text split, okay? And I try and highlight this and say, right, let's just join it all together, but split the items out, it doesn't really work, okay? Uh, let's do a comma, for example. All you get is a couple of them. So what I'm gonna do is this, equals array to text, okay? Enter. So there's everything joined together in one big list, okay? Then what I can do is actually wrap this around into separate columns, okay? But before I do that, I do need to split it into individual cells. So after I've done this, I can then say equals text split, the text comma, okay? And I split it into columns. So column delimiter is a comma and that'll do, okay, enter. So now it's been split into separate items. And from there, I can use the equals wrap call. So that's a new function, wrap calls, okay? Vector really means what array are you using? Okay, how many columns before wrapping? Uh, two, okay, enter. Or I could do wrap rows. Actually, I wanna do wrap rows. This is one of those ones that I'll get wrong a hundred times before I remember. There we go. Okay, that's what I'm after. But notice this is text. That column is now text. That's not what I want. So then I can say equals choose calls from this array. I want the first call. So that's on its own now. 
Then I can say, oh, don't worry about the bold, that was just me doing something earlier. Then I can say equals choose calls. And again, refer to that array and get the second column. Okay, but I can actually turn that into values now. So values, oh, sorry, value. And then I can recombine them with a H stack. H stack stacks horizontally, so it combines columns. V stack combines vertically. So equals H stack this array and comma this array. Brilliant. So here we've got it up here. Okay. This is the this is the scenario. And it's working. So if I go TBL person four, it just works and tags on the avocado, the lime and the kiwi. So look, this is my first look at this brand new things will change, you know, um, check the updates. Hopefully it gives you a sense of like, this is crazy, what's possible. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've got some examples. I'll put some links and stuff and stay up to date. So this feature will roll out to insiders over the coming month. And then eventually it'll hit the current channel when they're all happy with it. And then in another sort of three to six months time, it'll hit the um, semi-annual channel. These sorts of things will never make it to Excel 2021. Okay. The old one-off versions of Excel, they'll never have these features. So be aware of backwards compatibility. Hope you find it useful. Let me know what you think. Catch you later.